From what I've learned about Fulke, she's not shy about sharing her esoterica. If we ask her one question, she'll answer ten. Good. We mustn't seem eager. She could use it against us. And with that, I'm going to go ahead and save because uh, we're about to go into the next part of this. So. And here's Eivor. Ah, uh, you've timed things well. The Holy Woman Fulke is close by. Imprisoned at St. Albanes Monastery. Just around the bend. This is our moment, Eivor. After this, everything changes. I might be pleased for you if I knew who this woman was and why we needed her. I have explained enough. Now is the time for action. You've done nothing of the sort. Nothing but give me your blind word. I wish to speak to her. Me, your Jarl. That alone is reason enough. Why? So she might cast a spell and turn Edwin into an eel. Fulke is not the only advantage we seek here, Aver. There will be treasures in St. Albanes. More than we can count. I've already plundered St. Albanes Abbey and lifted its treasures from Nave to Crypt. I saw no prisoners of note. She is there. I know it. And she is the most valuable treasure of them all. Aver, there was a time when you would follow me without question, because we trusted one another. Because you knew I would never lead you into folly, never wager our lives before I knew the cost. Is there something that holds you back from embracing me as you once did? As your brother? Your family? Sigurd, you know I would never betray your... your trust in me. I'll fight with you. But there must be limits to this chase. Giedrich is counting on us. Of course he is. And soon we will deliver. Come. When you raided St. Albanes, are you sure you saw nothing? No crypts? No prisoners? Nothing I can recall for certain. Well, since the mission was inactive, there's no way of telling. Anyways, uh, I don't have a map marker in order to tell me where to go. So... Aid me. Be my eyes. He said it was just around the river bend, so it should be in one place or the other. Just around. Oh, 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 oh. I'm, I think I know what they're talking about. That place over there that I raided like two, three times already. Just saying. It's probably taking, talking about this place here. And right. Since it wasn't active, I ran around that place like two or three times trying to get underneath. I didn't see a crypt, but I knew that there was something underneath. So in uh, Sigurd's defense, I couldn't get down there. I've already got the key though. Uh, take command. What the hell? Guess I should have left the uh, the boat facing the way it was supposed to be. What do we know of this woman? Very little. She appears to be an adventurer of sorts. The Thane called her a heretic. All the better for us. She's clearly someone who knows her own mind. I admire your optimism, brother. I intend to bring this chapter to an end if I can. Run up the sail! Sing, my ravens. Oh, this should be the place. He got from there. Not that one. Or maybe it was this one. Again. I should just run by all of this shit.
the hell? Make the bleed and take their horse. Who, who's talking? Oh, the guys up there. He didn't fall off. Oh, he did fall off. He just didn't fall all the way down. Funny stuff. Anyway. Wait. There's a guy here? What is this? Not bad. I'm goofing off. I mean, I'm not really goofing off. I'm asking too many doggone questions and walking around the corner. Come on. I can't get off because this guy's here. That is the stupidest thing I've ever seen. Really, that didn't kill you, buddy? Didn't kill you either. Reach you, huh? Okay, this is amazing. Completely red and still missing. Anyways, uh, there should be a way for us to get down to the crypt now. Really? What, what is going on here? What is up with all this red? <laughs> See, you now there's the same thing is down there. There will be a crypt or dungeon. Here's the monastery, St. Albanese. Fook is held inside. The Somewhere fuck? well protected. The fuck? The fuck? <laughs> Shoot that shit three times. Okay, well, if y'all gonna fight, I'm gonna go ahead and let y'all fight. Oh! Right. And I had the key. I mean, I didn't have the key. The key wasn't here until this mission started. The key was somewhere out there. Oh, yeah, there you go. Only key that was there last time was the key uh, that was down there. Enter this sanctuary. This stony cave reeks of piss and salty tears. How dare you! We've come for the woman Fulke. She need not bedevil you any longer. Oh, the mad heretic! Ah, the self begotten spirit has sent an angel to deliver me. Open the door. Her heresies must be punished. Not by Danes or Mahometans, but by true Christians. Friar. Our hands are bloody with the gore of your guardians. Is your god so starved of martyrs that you wish to die as well? 
You make a fine point. Let me prey on this. <laughs> and while we do that, let's open the door and get her out. The Lord bids me to welcome all strangers. Here, friend, take the key and depart with your strange friend. <laughs> Praise the Lord of the Treasury of Light oh, Joan of Arc. this chance of deliverance. Are you sent by the angels of Sacklus, or the self-begotten one above? That I cannot answer. You are the woman called Fulcane. I am Fulcane, this realm. A humble seeker of the self-begotten one's true nature. And you are a collector of artifacts. The instruments of the children of Sacklus the Fool. Yes, I am. I have many such curiosities. And you possess an object? A polished stone with unusual markings? Now, are you a curious one? A cowl and robes hiding tawny skin? And that devilish blade? Why do we linger here? Soldiers will be coming. There are stables beyond the monastery where we can speak in peace. Lead the way. Come. Now, the funny fact about it is that uh, churches or monasteries actually had dungeons underneath them just like this. So this is How long you prison? Some weeks, perhaps a month. Now you for your so-called heresies. Heresies, yes. Funny, because uh, she's sounding like she's a woman of God. Apparently. And yet, they're calling her a heretic. I don't fully understand this, but mm, whatever. I'm not supposed to just yet. Enough of these mysteries, Sigurd. Fulke is a curator of objects of great worth, one of which may reveal my true nature. True nature? You said this was about victory. About defeating Edwin. Do you know that I am descended from the ancient gods, Aes of Victory? It would give me dominion over this land. Descended of the gods? Brother, what by Odin's eye are you saying? Fulke, we have heard that you possess a profane stone with strange markings and the image of a tree. That I do. A monolith I call the Saga Stone, for it came to this land with the Dane Ragnar Lothbrok. Do you have it? It is the sun and moon of all my sacred objects. Will you buy and trade this stone for an alliance? Or more fighting men? Is it useful for anything other than flattering yourself? Perhaps I should leave you three alone to hammer through your differences? We are unified. We only wish to see the stone, to read the runes inscribed upon it. No one on Earth can read those runes. The language is unknown and probably long dead. There is no risk in letting us look. No risk at all? Praise thee, O oh, self-begotten one, for sending these three to deliver me from my punishment. No whispering gods let me hear, Fulke. I brought myself. You came because I called you, Eber. They spoke through me. Brother, you have my head spinning. And you fascinate me more with each passing moment. Right. The Saga Stone is hidden away in the care of my acolyte. Are you ready to go see it? Uh, hmm. Next step, I guess. I don't think I really need any more time. I've already done quite a few different things. Yeah, the let's sooner go. we see this slab of rock, the better. Let's go. Approach the stone with an open mind, Ava. I agree, Ava. You may Ava. find it more interesting than you expect. True indeed.